Hai hai semuanya, gua Zeno. Gua masih melanjutin game Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo. Wah, ini sih ceritanya udah agak mulai seru ya. Udah mulai mending lah. Apalagi ini si Dr. Loomis mau ngebuktiin juga teorinya ke Adam sama si Sheriff Reyes. Kita lihat aja kayak gimana ceritanya. Mudah-mudahan memang benar si Ed itu nggak bersalah. Ketahuan si V-nya itu siapa dan motifnya apa. Dan bagaimana titik selanjutnya ya kita langsung main game-nya aja ya. siapa tiba-tiba sky I had to make sure You ready? All those precautions and now you won't even check that it's really me? Come on. Okay. This is where you'll see what I see, which is what the drone sees, but without VR. Okay, see you right here, sir. Hey, do I have to arrest you again? I'm not a cop, a cop, and nobody's arresting anybody. Sky D, Dave, offered to help us. The images his drone provides will help us test out a theory, and we'll see everything from here. Okay? Are you giving away free donuts? Or what? I think Ed did see someone jump off the bridge, but I also believe that person made a pit stop before hitting the ground. Can you fly to the middle of the bridge and hover right beneath it? Not that low, Sky D. It's right underneath the middle of the bridge.
de Natanael. Don't fly so far from the bridge, please. Ini pasti ada lah. Masih kurang sana. Ini gue heran sih, drone-nya gak hancur Sorry, sorry, gue baru kali ya A double bag? So what? People come here to do yoga? For the views? Adam, call Harley, alright? We need a tactical unit to deploy rope operations under the bridge I'm on it Oh, and one more thing. Find that good Samaritan who saved Miller. The uh, truck driver. In case we forgot to ask him anything. So now what, boss? But why would she leave that bag there? Hmm, unless... Dave? Can you cross over to the other side of the bridge and head straight down to the bottom of the cliff? Face, Sky D. God, I think I'm gonna puke. The face, Dave. Fucking yoga. Dave, show a little respect. Are you seeing this? Anybody know that chick? Jadi itu Esther atau Faye? Ini Faye ni. Sorry, the medical examiner was late. Let's hope she doesn't take too long to determine the cause and day of death. Although, it looks pretty obvious, right? Yes, it looks pretty straightforward. Well, it always looked pretty obvious to you. If only I had listened to you sooner.
Don't worry, I'm used to it. Occupational hazards. Others would have taken longer. Should we examine it all? Please. I honestly don't know where to start. Our hacking specialist unlocked it. Plus, we also got her fingerprints, which are being cross-checked as we speak. Hmm. No text. No contacts. No calls. And I'm sure there aren't it. Wait. We do have some photos. Miller sleeping. Miller on the computer. Miller at the window. Damn. She was obsessed. Miller and the girl exists? She exists, but where is she? Oh, God. The living room. More living room. More living room. The kitchen. The office. What does she want? To build a model of the house? Basically, a mental one. Her smiling. Another smile. And another smile. Why all this smiling? Hmm? She's practicing. She may have had difficulty reading facial expressions in others, and therefore reproducing them herself. Seems like a classic psychopath. Lack of empathy, right? There are many causes. Neurodegenerative diseases, autism spectrum disorders. In many cases, the right education might have compensated for this type of condition. Almost all of those who suffer from it are perfectly adapted to and contributing members of our society, and no less happy than you or me. But, yes, in this case, seems like your classic psychopath. So, Faye dressed up as John Miller. Did he always dress like that? Well, when he was young, he was more casual. Ed would have been, hmm, I don't know, five or six when John started dressing like that. That's a really strong neuroleptic. In layman's terms? An antipsychotic used in acute cases of schizophrenia or manic disorders. Medication belonging to Faye, or...? It has plenty of side effects, the mildest being its narcotic properties. It can cause almost immediate sedation. Hmm. Narcotics and antipsychotics. Both were found in Miller's blood. Hmm. Any idea what it might open? I'd say it's for a car or some other vehicle. According to Ed, Faye took an Uber this time and a rental car the time before, so I don't know. Hmm. I still have to check the names I got at the agency. We'd need Ed to confirm, but from what he told me, it's just the kind of clothing Faye wore. Are we sure that Faye used that to pretend she jumped off the cliff? 
when she was actually lowering herself down to the landing where we found the bag. As sure as we can be that the body is Faze. Wait. You finally convinced me. And now you want me to question it all again? <sighs> okay. I don't know how I'm going to take this all in. Hmm. We haven't finished yet. It was in the glove compartment of his car, but I guess at this point, that doesn't mean much. I found it in Miller's car, but I could have sworn he hated whiskey. He has his reasons believe him. Where'd you get that? I found it on the cliff, near Miller's car. I thought it was his, but I guess I was wrong. Faye was a psychopath. She was obsessed with Miller. She sedated him, drugged him, Planted false evidence all over the car, including the gun that killed Samuel Franklin. Dressed up as John Miller, waited till Ed woke up, pretended to jump off of the bridge, and ended up killing herself? Was that her plan? There are too many loose ends. And a baby that we have to find. Van Esther Franklin. What's missing? What aren't we seeing? <laughs> it's mine. What is with these young people and all these voice messages? Hey. I went to the company that truck driver Barry Dennison works for, but he was done for the day. They told me about this bar he goes to, but he wasn't there either. But I did see this picture on the wall. I'll send it over. <laughs> what? I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'd go right now, but I'm hungry as a wolf, and this place, they should have been closed down months ago. Actually, I know some much, much better places to eat out in this town. Well, it's way past dinner time. If you'd like to, we could eat at one of those places you mentioned. <laughs> I was just going to suggest one. Mama Louise makes the best almond chicken stew in the county. It's a short walk from here. Um, could Mama Louise make anything without animal products? Can she? Wait till you try her lemony garbanzo salad. Say no more. Wait, we haven't even looked at the list of drivers. We can look at it tomorrow. Afternoon? Afternoon. Here he comes. Careful there, old geezer. Late again, Dennison. If this happens one more t it won't. 
I'll hook on the trailer and be out in a second. Hand over the routing sheet. Boss. There won't be any roots today, Mr. Dennison. The county, in appreciation of your work as a good Samaritan, on the 20th of September, on the Brody Canyon Bridge. We'd like to offer you a guided visit of the police station. Bastard. Citizen, I have rights. Does he? I do. And now I'm one driver short, thanks to the county. Fishing this Sunday. I'll give the bait. Normally, in these cases. My assistant plays good cop, and I play bad cop. But unfortunately, since you two started off on the wrong foot, I got to do it all. <clears throat> so, it's your pick. Which role would you like to see me in? Mm, uh, in the role of a beaner? See? <laughs> I pick. We know you've been involved in something real ugly. If you cooperate and tell us everything that happened at the bridge that morning, well, I can't make any promises, but you'll probably get off scot free, or just about. I have no fucking clue what you want me to tell you. Hmm. I see. We found the cap at the bottom of Brody Canyon. Are you going to deny that it's yours? Must have fallen when I was saving a goddamn life. I found it over 200 yards from where you held Miller now. It was windy, for Christ's sake. True. A little. Blowing the other way, you know. I'm surprised you haven't said the thing about talking to a lawyer first. I don't talk to lawyers. Hmm. Okay. I'll do the talking if you want. They're all a bunch of... Uh, hey, what are you doing with my phone there? Saving you the trouble. I have my rights. Let's see. Lawyers? That's illegal. I'll report you. Well, you need a lawyer for that. Many favorites in your contacts? <sighs> Son of a bitch. <clears throat> I'll pick again. In fact, I have a few candidates right here. Hello? Sheriff Reyes, why is this number in Barry Dennison's contact list? Thanks, Miss Thompson. An agent will call you shortly. Hey, Sandwich. like someone named Brainless Loser Barry is calling Crazy Bitch. Hey, how's it 
Sounds my favorite customer. Detain. Sheriff Frey speaking. And you are? Oh, uh, Tom DeLucci. Owner of the Golden Blonde. So, uh, what did he do? And why is he your favorite customer? Yeah, sure. Always happy to cooperate with the police, Sheriff. He's been a regular for a while, but he spent big money recently on girls, drinks. Exactly what day are we talking here? Uh, let me see. Uh, not last weekend. Oh, yeah. September 20th. He got here as soon as we opened. We'll be in touch, Mr. Delushi. We found your hat where it shouldn't be. Your number where it shouldn't be. Maybe we should stop playing games, huh? Sheriff, I just... I've got your lady friend's body over in the morgue. And good cop or bad cop, you're looking at a first-degree murder charge. Uh, I... I didn't. She... She jumped. From the beginning, then. She came on to me at Lawrence, and I thought I'd be getting laid that night, but she gave me 200 bucks up front and promised me 10 grand if I helped her with something legit, no strings attached. Hmm? I had to be at the Brody Canyon Bridge a few days later. At 4.30 a.m. the hell? Is that a stiff? Darling, you can count me out. Uh -uh, no way. Are you sure you want me to count you out? Because there's no stiff here. Yet. Hey, whoa there. No, darling. Count me in. All the way. A hundred percent. Yeah. Is he asleep? Sort of. I just wanna scare him a little. Make him pay. What? What did he do to you? He asked too many questions. Okay, yeah, got it. No problem. Okay. What do I have to do? Wait.
banyak yang harus dilakukan See you in the insane asylum, sweetie. Not me. Not now. What is it? In your hand or in your vein? There's no sign of any babies or this Fey woman.
It's a lot of money. <sighs> if you mention any of this to anyone, you won't have time to spend it. You, come. Push. Come on. Shit, that's my favorite. Forget it. I'll wait here. He'll wake up. Don't let him see you. He'll end up coming towards me. Follow him. Dad!
Make sure he doesn't kill himself. Let go. Let go of me. Then call the police and report an attempted suicide. Uh, yeah. I'm on the Brody Canyon Bridge. I just... Uh... I just saved the life of some guy who was trying to jump off the bridge. And, uh... They came. And that's it. You know what, Dennison? I believe you. So, I'm clean, innocent? How could you have left out the part about the baby? What baby? Sorry I always keep you waiting. Harley was still printing the Horowitz file for me. Whose file? Lisa E. Horowitz. One of the three women to rent a car at Wong's just before Faye popped up at Miller's place. And considering her age, the only one who could be our buddy. I asked Harley to get us some details on her. We could take a look at it, if you want. And I thought this only happened in movies. Welcome to my life. Would you rather take one last look at the board before reading her file? Do a run through of the investigation? Just in case, I'd like to take a closer look at it. Okay. Where should we start? Oke, okay, sorry banget harus dipotong sampai sini. Soalnya ya seperti yang kalian bisa lihat baterai earphone gua habis. Ya, ini seru sih babak yang ini seru banget. Di mana kita dikasih tahu uh, action dari si V itu gimana. Wah, wah, enggak ini sih. Gila aja sih. Dia bisa seniat itu untuk nge-framing si Ed. Oke, okay. mungkin ya selanjutnya kita bakalan cari petunjuk-petunjuk dan kuku lain lagi supaya semua masalah ini jadi clear dan terpecahkan. Oke, okay, thank you banget yang udah nonton. Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Dah.